I, I guess as you reflect, will you reflect back to last year and maybe why you felt like this was such a good fit when you got here and how much easier it is than heading into year two after you spent in the last season here and you had a camp to go through with the team? Oh, yeah, just uh, being in camp with the guys, being able to mesh with them and, and, and learn their personalities and also with the playbook, uh, just being able to get the small details that, you know, when I showed up last year, learning on the fly, you know, doing things like that. But uh, being able to learn the, the, the small details and, and, and keep trying to get better within the system, I think having this, uh, this extra year and having this camp will, will be really good. And maybe how's your relationship with, with Derek evolved where you guys are on the same page, not only as, as friends, but as teammates on the field? Yeah, we're a lot closer. And uh, I just have a better understanding of how I need to play in front of him because uh, he's fast. He gets out and he goes. And uh, but I think I think our relationship off the field helps on the field. Um, I'm a firm believer in that. But I, I think the fact that we've been able to get closer off the field will help our play. And then just learning uh, different subtleties about his game. Uh, Teron. Yeah, Kari, what's going on, man? Um, you started to take carries, you know, as, as a, a regular tailback during camp. At, at what point was that introduced or was that something that was talked about? during the off season? I mean, it's, it's always a, a mindset of, you know, the more you can do. And so when the opportunity presented itself in practice with the reps, uh, just try to, you know, take advantage of it. But it was always a, a thought. And, you know, coach says it all the time, the more you can do, uh, you know, the more value you can add. Uh, John Glenn. Uh, I'm good. Uh, mine's taken. Uh, Teresa. Kari, I'm going to step out of the box just a teensy bit. Uh, you know, having played at Vanderbilt, are you somebody who has been registered to vote in the past? Uh, uh, when did you register? Have you registered at this point? And your thoughts on voting uh, in the upcoming election. Is voting important to you? Uh, yeah, voting is, is, is super important to me. Um, I've been registered to vote. Um, I can't remember since when, but I have been registered to vote. I voted in the last election. I'm uh, registered back at home, so I do absentee uh, because, you know, my permanent address is still my parents' house, which is kind of funny. But, uh, but yes, I am registered to vote, and I think, that's, uh, I think that's something that every citizen who can vote should take advantage of because, you know, a lot of people fought for, for us to have that right, and, you know, it's just important to be active citizens and participate in, uh, in the system that we have. Uh, Terry? All right. Play the fullback position. You talked about being versatile, but how much is kind of the fullback a, you know, I guess the last of the Mohicans, kind of a dying breed in the NFL, a guy that's willing to just to be a lead blocker and, and kind of stick his nose up there in the line? Can you talk about that a little bit? Well, I, I don't agree with that. I, I think uh, – I think if you look around the league, you see a lot of guys who play fullback being able to do a lot of different things uh, from special teams. Uh, and you have, you know, CJ Ham in Minnesota and Kyle Juszczyk. Uh, forgive me if I didn't say his name right. Out in San Francisco, they, they catch the ball out of the backfield. They're, they're really versatile in uh, doing things like that. So I don't think it's a, it's a last of the Mohicans thing. I just think it's kind of, you know, going in a cycle. You know, I, I feel like uh, – as you see more of it integrated around the league, it, it might start to come back and, and maybe guys will look at, at fullbacks and, uh, and, and their role on teams is, is more important. But I, I do think that uh, fullbacks around the league have been uh, playing, you know, bigger roles uh, than, than people give them credit for. Uh, last one I've got, uh, Jim. Curry, I know you and Will are buddies, but did, did you have a smile or, or did he say anything too when he came back in the locker room, Tom, about the, you mossing him in the game last year? No, nah, we didn't. We didn't talk about that. Uh, I just gave him a, a hug, yelled out the boy, and, and you know, just, just was glad to see him. No, nah, but we didn't talk about that. And, and I guess what's the mood change? I mean, you go through camp, your focus is on getting better. Now it's game week. I mean, it, as you look around the locker room, as you, as you come back in there today, what, what's the feeling and how is it different compared to what it's been like through all? Uh, well, through camp, you know, you're, you're preparing for your teammates and you're preparing to go out there and compete against them. Now you got a opponent that you haven't seen every day and uh, just ramps it up a little bit and you're getting ready to go to go play a game. So stakes are a little higher and uh, everybody feels a little bit, you know, more sense of urgency.